Hello, my makeup loving friends, back again. And yes, we are all in the same outfits because this is all done on the same night. I know, we're great. Give us all medals of valor, quite frankly. I mean, it's amazing. Um, we are talking about the bougie stuff, the expensive stuff, the stuff that we covet and are like, oh no, that's crap, we don't want this. But secretly we're like, Jesus, I wouldn't mind that getting into my collection. Anyways, we're talking about the bougie stuff in terms of the holiday releases. And I am again joined by Rebecca, Claire and Brianna. As I've said before, and if you haven't gotten the message, they have their own YouTube channels and their own Instagrams. Do please go and find them. Go follow them. Go check out their stuff. Brianna is trying to subtly eat. And I'm really <laughs> enjoying that. This gives you an idea of how long we've been filming for. So, <laughs> you know, snacks are needed. You know, the, the blood pressure is dropping. Um, do please check out each of their uh, channels and their Instagrams. You won't regret it. Uh, just make sure you come back to me. Because I have real abandonment issues. It's very scary. She's like, you can look at them, but you're mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. I'm like, I peed on you first. Uh, oh, God. I'm so glad there was a chip in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. But we have a load of stuff to talk about in terms of the, the bougie makeup brands. Because we thought that the affordable makeup products, like that they were doing a lot, the bougie brands are, are coming for us as well. And there's stuff all the way up to being about $300 worth. So we have a lot of things to talk about. The first we have to talk about is MAC. Now MAC have been drip feeding us lots of stuff over the last couple of months. It felt like every week I was kind of going, here's another MAC holiday thing. Here's another MAC holiday thing. And they do have a lot of stuff. Um, they have like, I think what they've done really smartly is they have made sure that they've taken their kind of, really preferred products that they, they know that a lot of people really like and they put them into really nice packaging because people who like Mac they come back and they will buy it again and again and again and they will use it up so I think that that's been quite smart of them um I know that I definitely had a message on my Patreon about one of them yeah Missa aka make me up Missa if you don't know her what the hell is wrong with you uh she had said I love the color scheme in the Mac palette but the layout if it was normal I would probably have purchased it because I've never tried MAC shadows before. I've seen the purple one in like real life, like the one in the bottom left hand corner, mm -hmm. and it is cute. Yeah. They've sold out in my store, like and everything. It is it's really beautiful. I was super tempted, but like I I mean I don't need anything else like that really. But in real life it's 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 real pretty. It's really yeah. nice. Sparkly. Yeah, they do look nice. I like the the look of those shadows. Now, there were other things that I could have included, but they were completely sold out. And I was like, I am not putting that in front of you guys for you to go, oh, that looks nice. And then say, no, you can't have it. Didn't want to taunt you. Is the 40% um, off on the singles, like the, there's a lot of bundles, but they yeah. do have single items. They're doing goodbye sale, 40% off on goodbye items. The single items are included. You can get some of this on sale. Yeah. Mm. I think, I think it's, again, I think they were smart. They did the stuff that they know that everyone likes. They put it into really fancy looking packaging. And particularly now that it's like they've really good bundle deals and there's quite a percentage off. I think they'll do quite well for themselves, but they have a load of stuff. I mean, a lot of lip products, a lot of eyeshadow stuff, their lip glasses. There's just, there's a whole junk of stuff, so. I'm just not a MAC girl, so I'm not gonna be picking any of this stuff. I don't think I've ever, I've had one MAC lipstick, which I've lost, and that's kind of it. I mean, I'm a die hard Fix Plus user. Um, I bought the boot star gift that they had for £35 is worth 70 like that had cute stuff in it um yeah like there's a few bits from Mac that I really like I'm like in, that I'm interested in and um, now that there's a counter in my store now that I've, they're there for me to look at um but before I'd kind of was like Mac I'm a bit over it but now that I'm like seeing it in real life and actually price range wise they're a lot less than other premium brands like the what foundation like 26 quid and then others are like 36 39 so actually they're pr it's pretty fairly priced abh 
uh they okay they they came out with like a soft glam 2 palette for christmas which i was like what are you doing abh do you remember when everyone loved abh and everyone was like oh my god they can do no wrong and now it just feels like they've gone a bit boring because they basically went hey we don't really have any new ideas we're going to take the soft glam palette and just make it smaller <laughs> mm -hmm. and i'm like sorry what it was already an edited palette what are you doing so they've done that that's like their new holiday release but other than that they're doing a lot of bundles of existing things like the little mini Norvinas they have the sultry package which they had said was a limited edition item and now it's back mm. yeah people really don't like when when people are like it's limited edition and then people panic and go off and buy it or they'll go off onto you know sites and buy it for way more than it cost we all know people who do that but they buy oh. it I would love the sultry palette. I don't know what it is about it. I would love it, but I'm not going to buy it for that price. Mm. Um, their liquid eyeliner for someone like me who has super creasy lids is the best eyeliner on the market for me. Like it's fantastic. But again, in the bundle that it comes with, I hate the primer with a passion. Um, it is. It does not work for me on my creasy eyes. It's bleh, no um so yeah nothing nothing at all appeal, appeals to me apart from the sultry palette but yeah i've seen the sultry palette in tk maxx so. yeah well, right fair enough again yeah it's, tk maxx have had a lot of abh stuff in there recently so yeah. Yeah. i was thinking of getting the jackie asking for the jackiana fault for christmas um just because i kind of just took a notion to get more um, a BH palette, but I have two at the minute, and I don't know. It's just I'm more colors, and just they don't really seem to. I like to have them, but I don't seem to pick them up. I think it'd be a really nice gift, and that's why I was thinking of it. But I didn't end up asking for it. Yeah, but it's it's. I think it's very much for like people who are like collectors, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to have them all, and it's like no, it's it's makeup. It's not Pokemon. You don't have <laughs> yeah. to have them all. It's okay. Calm down. You can't prove it. I realise <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I must get them all, and 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 they are all a family, and they all stay together, and I won't declutter anything. I don't have the sultry because I never bother getting that because that wasn't my kind of thing. Like yeah. I look at that and I'm like, oh, what do I do with that? Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, ABH aren't as interesting as they once were. No. Yeah, they kind of, I don't know what they did, but it's, they've gone a little bit off kilter. We then have Bare Minerals and they have just a chunk of stuff. Like there's, there's so much stuff. And I talked about this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go too much into it, but they've like some eyeshadow palettes. They've like some kind of create your own kits where you can put in foundations and um, bits and pieces that suit you so you can create it to your own needs. And they have some like lipstick vaults and duos and bits and pieces. I actually think a lot of this, is quite mindful and quite clever because like i mean i look at the eyeshadow palettes like i hate them like well no hate is a strong word but i look at them and i'm like nah don't find them interesting but i think they do some really nice like skincare stuff and they have some really nice skincare deals where you can build your own skincare vault you can build your own like face palette yeah thing. i think that's I mean, smart. I used to work for Bare Minerals. I did for nearly a year um i was on their makeup counter for anyone that doesn't know um so some of my favorites in here is the lash topia mascara is absolutely fantastic and um, you know they're a cruelty free vegan clean brand and um, so if you've got sensitive eyes it's a, it's a mineral um mascara it really actually is fantastic i don't work for them anymore so it doesn't really matter the mineralist lipsticks so those are the ones in the gold tube that's their newer range this year really nice really really nice lipsticks and um, really pigmented satin finish so it's not like drying um i absolutely love um like my warmth bronzer um, and the little palette that has the big thing that's a bronzer in it and then the four um the four shades i've swatched that um and i have to say that the two like the two at the top metallic shades are just the highest quality of like wet look beautiful metallics um like really 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 stunning um i agree that the um formula is quite base and um, the the colors is quite basic in the eyeshadows but the eyeshadows are great like mm -hmm. i just 
if Bare Minerals is very, very much a cult brand, a bit like MAC, like they have a very, you know, cult following, you either like them or you don't. The skincare in particular, like the Poreless is fantastic range, um, really, really fantastic. Um, yeah, like, and I think for you, Teresa, you would like the two um, lipsticks that come together in the black packaging. The pomegranate is an exclusive shade to that package and it's just limited edition. It is stunning. It is stunning orangey red. So just my sort of... Stop trying to get me to buy things. I'm <laughs> just throwing it out there. Like they're, like, they're so underrated. I think they really need to like think about how they are advertising themselves yeah. like Hayley, Hayley Baldwin Bieber is their spokesperson and she genuinely loves Bare Minerals like she approached them to, to work with them and stuff like that and I think they could just do so much more because there are so many so many good things like stuff that I would go back and purchase full price now that I don't work for the brand anymore. We next have Seattle London and um, their holiday collection, it's mostly bundles of existing things, but they also had like a, a Miss Piggy collection. And um, yeah, I mean, they're quite expensive. Like the, the pigment palette was £35. Like their Piggy Perfector, the little sponge was £14, which I just thought was really expensive mm. for, for <laughs> what it is. And I will also say that some people maintain that Seattle London's cosmetic stuff is just not up to par. That is not worth the price. Are any good reviews on any of their makeup? No. Their, lip, their um, nail varnishes are fantastic. Yeah. But I think they need to stick to that and yeah. expand that. Not in a rude way. Like, I have bought my mum some Seattle nail varnishes and she loves nail varnish and she, she really loves them. Be Perfect came out with a load of stuff for Christmas. They had all of these special, like, little vaults of like um the clock struck 12 they had mystery boxes etc and i know a lot of people were not very happy uh because there was talk about the i'm uh, raging i got the mystery box right and i'd already bought that that the 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 pack that they did with the manifest palette in and then they put um, it in the mystery box i mean i'm going to do a giveaway on my channel at some stage with that and a few other bits that i've got but it's just frustrating for me i was really mm -hmm. irritated by it like it's bullshit yeah um, i thought it was kind of lazy on on their behalf to to do something like that because she's not catering to kind of what you call it like loyal customers that would probably buy a lot of their stuff like surely they would get that somebody who has bought that set might buy the mystery box as well. It was just, mm. it was a bit odd, but they also have their uh, like tan set. They have like um, a set of like lashes, which I actually ended up getting because I have problems. Oh, I really wanted that. Their lashes and lip glosses are amazing. So yeah, yeah that was the lashes on amazing. now. Yeah. They're lovely and they're so easy to apply yeah, and everything. They are, they're really, yeah. and I, I think I've gotten about 20 wears out of these. So yeah. I'm happy with that. They also have their Christmas Eve box. Uh, it was £108.72. It's currently down to £49. And it has um, a lot of like um, tanning stuff, a uh, pair of lashes, a uh, mirror, some lip stuff, and some of their uh, glitter liquid stuff and like a tanning mist. I, I hate that. those glitter shadows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I I did a video with them and had to scrap it because I was just for they it was I could not make them work and um, they were patching off and um, they like transferred from my lid to up here and we're like I had loads of bald spots and um, I tried doing it putting up my hand with a brush putting it directly from me they just would not work with my eye type at all just just no there was no way to make them work they felt so dry on the eye like my eyes felt heavy and dry I, I no. Oh, that's no. awesome. we then have Fenty Fenty have released a lot of stuff so primarily they had like um like a, a gloss bomb uh four piece they've had luminizers they had their snap shadow they had the little mini lipsticks full disclosure I got the mini lipsticks yeah Rebecca has them as well they're gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, oh, I wow. really, really, really want the lip glosses, but they're not available in my store right now. Um, but I like, oh my God, again, I would, yeah, I really want them. I'm going to have to try and get them. 
Yeah. They are the best glosses, like they're amazing. And if you can get four minis, do you know, I think that was better if you can don't want to spend all the money on four full size yeah. different shoes. I also got the the luminizer thing that had the the glass, the the diamond bomb and was it Boxy? the green yeah. blush? Yeah. Problems. That's not like a good set. Yeah. I have problems. You know. <laughs> I full size it. and full size gloss bomb. That's a, like a really good set. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a really, really good set, and I'm quite happy with it. I regret nothing. I thought they did some nice things. I hate the eyeshadow palette, the snap shadow. I, mm. I, I don't like the color yeah. story on that. Makes no sense to me at all. Like I can't figure that out. I will also say I wasn't wildly happy with the snap shadow palettes I've gotten in the past. I don't think they're the best quality. I don't think they're worth the price. I sold mine. Yeah, I sold mine. Yeah. Mm. They're like okay. Them. They're good quality. They're usable. They're fine. But I just wasn't like, oh, I must. And I'm a hoarder. Mm. And I wasn't like, oh, must I keep them in my collection? I was just like, uh, I'm a bit broke. Let's sell them. So. Yeah. I know, Brianna, you liked them. I, yeah. Well, I only have the green one, but I liked it. But yeah. I'm easy to please. Uh, Natasha Denona um are like hey let's get in on the holiday stuff and they came out with a lot of stuff so ranging from like 25 dollars is their cheapest stuff up to uh 129 dollars is the most expensive thing so they have their triochrome eyeshadow palette it is apparently limited edition that's 129 dollar uh, they have the uh, Glam eyeshadow palette for $65, the Mini Zendo for $25, their Need a Nude Glow Highlighter, which I actually ended up getting, that's $42, I don't have a problem. And they have two new I Need a Nude uh, lipsticks, and they're $25 each, and they have their Perfect Nude mm. Post Holiday Duo, so where you can get the two lipsticks together for $45, so saving $5 at least you know the proper saving and then you can get the holiday bundle where you can have the mini zendo the two lipsticks and the highlighter for a hundred dollars when it's meant to be worth 113 so that's Natasha Denona I kind of initially really wanted the triochrome palette I got like overly mm -hmm. excited and I was like green purple <laughs> but then I was like no calm down calm calm yourself would you would you run into a burning building for this and I was like I probably wouldn't so there had it, yeah had it have been one of their 60 pounders ones like the mm. cheaper ones i would have been all over yeah. that we also then have two faced two faced every year comes out with what looks to be the same palette over and over and over again but with different cutesy packaging they're like here's some neutral stuff and here's again they're the ones going hey we're we're making our makeup into ornaments and we're like, why? I want to hang some mascara from my Christmas tree. Nothing <laughs> seems like the birth of Jesus like a better than sex mascara dangling from the bottom like branch of your Christmas tree. That's just what Jesus wanted. I feel so embarrassed like talking about it with customers saying the name and I'm not a prude. And I'm like, yes, this mascara which of the two mascaras did you want? This one or this one? If it was any <laughs> other brand, I'd be like, would you like a Lash Topia or a Strength and Length? But I'm not going to be like, would you like the Better Than Sex or a Damn Girl? <laughs> a Damn Girl is not as bad as the Better Than Sex, though. No. Yeah, I, I mean, at least we don't stop NARS and I don't have to say some of their names. Yeah. Orgasm. Five million times. Climax. Fucking hell. Yeah. I think it's interesting that Too Faced, whenever they do their holiday collection, they always have neutral, but then they have a random pop of pink or purple in them. Every year. Mm -hmm. Every year without fail. They either have a pop of pink, purple, or blue. If you look at any mm -hmm. of their previous holiday stuff, that's what they do. Brianna, are you searching? <laughs> She's like, she has put forward a hypothesis. It must be verified. And if, if anyone's finding a mascara better than sex, you're doing something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you're not doing it right. But that's for a different video. Yeah. yeah. And Rebecca's going to give some right. tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I got to admit though, I do buy some of these sets for my sisters. You know, they wouldn't have like a big, like a lot of makeup. So it's just in there, like just something to wear every day. And um, for going out, so I have bought a few of the Too Faced sets. I think they're nice for 
for those kind of people. Yeah, oh, I, I totally agree. I think they're smart for, yeah, they're smart for people who don't like obsessively buy makeup and are just like, oh, I just want some stuff for work and some stuff for a night out. Perfect for that. Mm -hmm. Then Urban Decay uh, came out with a lot of bits and pieces. They had their stoned vibe, stone, stone vibe, stone vibes. Stone vibe. Yeah, it, it, it's hard for me to pronounce. Um, and at one point they had like a crazy sale on their site where it was like more than half off, like it was bananas. But they have like the eyeshadow palette, they have some lip glosses, highlighters, um, like eye pencils, their sprays, everything is kind of put into packs. They even came up with a Stone Vibes like mini palette, which is a bit weird and um, disjointed when I look yeah. at it. I'm like, how, what? I, I kind of like it. If I was going to, out of the two of them, I'd rather have the mini. Fair. Yeah. I I got the Stone Vibes uh, palette. and I Of course you did. Yeah. I have problems. And um, I have filmed with it and uh, got it somewhere here. It's, it's, it's in the mess. This is my makeup room. Eh. It's oh, okay. damn. I got the mystery box with it. Oh, I mean, did you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not bad, but I wouldn't be like, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. But I tried to make like an eye look just using that. And I was like, oh God, what are you doing? What are you doing, woman? No, it's definitely a palette that you need something else with it. That's fine. You know, it's grand. But I also think I'm just being really sassy these days. So, you know. Anyways, they have, they have a load of stuff, a load of sets. Speaking of a load of stuff and a load of sets, we have Huda. Huda has their Naughty palette. And that, there's that weird shade at the bottom left. I know, I had to cover it up. I saw it now, I'm like, uh. It looks like a Petri dish. It's oh my God, now yeah, it's like worse. Yeah, I say at work, it looks like an STG. It does. Why oh, did I look at it again? Yeah. I touched it, like, on our, one of our testers. I was like, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> you know, um, pointless. It's yeah. pointless. The rest of the, the the rest of the eyeshadow palette is cute. Don't get me wrong, it's just a cute moment. But if you have one or more of like the mini nudes, yeah. you do not need this in your collection. And Look I have all right three now. of them. You, need it. you do not need it. And um, the haze ones are cute, and I would like to own two of them. I'd like the kind of green, like the green one. one. Yeah. But I don't like it enough to get it. Hmm. I think it's the peach shades in there that I'm like, why are you there? Get out. Who let you in? They just masqueraded. They're like a, a wolf in sheep's clothing and then they took off their cloak and were like, ha 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 ha, we're in the palette now. And I'm like, what? Yeah, they have the, the haze palettes as well. And they have like some kind of like sets of like uh, liquid shadows and some like eye sets. So it's a couple of different bits and pieces. I don't think it's wildly interesting. I think Huda's kind of, I don't want to say lost her game, but it's not as interesting as she used to be. Mm -hmm. Then Hourglass, of course, have a chunk of stuff. Um, they have their Shimmering Eye gift <laughs> set. It's £74 now. They have, of course, their face palette. The £4 one is essentially what they had last year, but it's condensed. So if you have last year's um, kind of holiday ambient lighting, I hope you didn't end up getting this quad. Unless you loved your one from last year and ended up using it. This is a, a duplicate of the one from last year. Uh, and they have the, the, the big six pan one as well. May have got that. I just have no interest in hourglass whatsoever. Oh, I, it just, And I'm bougie and I like stuff, but I just like don't think, ooh, I must spend loads of, yeah. Eh. I love it. And what's that gonna do on my skin tone? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Perfect for me, but it would do nothing for you, Rebecca. If you couldn't like there's whole shades here that you could not use like yeah them. nah nah i'm like nah. i would maybe i'm p potentially would buy a single of like an ambient lighting yeah. powder or something or a mini of an ambient yeah lighting oh powder. i would recommend that because i have like a mini one of their bronzer and i just keep keep reaching for it i mm. love it i really really enjoy it i do like their formula i think their face products are beautiful like any of their bronzers their finishing powders i'm just like near it all over myself um but they're so pricey yes yeah, so oh, expensive right. i could not justify that money yeah, so not expensive. oh i shouldn't justify it but i do <laughs> smashbox have kind of their own christmas stuff essentially there's a lot of trio sets there's some like 
primer sets, there's a weird kind of a, is it a face palette? Yeah, cheek palette for £26, which doesn't seem to, I can't figure out who that's going to work for, but there you go. It's, it's kind of cute in real life. This picture doesn't represent it oh, very okay. well. It's a bit darker in real life, a bit more saturated. I would never spend the money on it, but this picture doesn't represent it really okay. that well. That's fair. That's me being bad. Mm. Oh, well, or is it the fact that they just can't picture their own stuff? Yeah, well? no, they've not photographed it very okay, well. Okay, that's yeah. fine. I'm taking no responsibility. Yay! Just like most white women. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, just just saying. Um, I do like their lipsticks. I will say I have quite a few of their lipsticks over the years. Yeah, I like their liquid lipsticks. Yeah, I and the like glosses them. are nice. Yeah, so I think like I quite like the the little trio set there. I would wear those. Um, they're thirty pounds, so that's not bad. Like ten pounds each. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah, mm. I, I wouldn't say no if they turned up. Oh, we have a uh, Jouet, and they had their what was it like their Midnight in Paris or something collection because it was all like Eiffel Tower stuff. They have a lot of like face products. They have a weird shimmery eyeshadow palette which when i looked at it reminded me of the xx revolution palette it was yeah yeah <laughs> don't, i see that don't get it at all then they have like this quad highlighter that reminds me of the beauty bay quad highlighters that you can buy which I don't I'm, just, I'm just not wowed by anything it's all very blah yeah just, blah. Uh -uh. very very safe um yeah nothing nothing wildly interesting there then dior of course are, are in there with their crazy expensive stuff their uh rouge dior golden lights refillable lipstick set is 183 euro 50 cent wow they are beautiful in real life they'd want to be they're honestly the packaging on that that's like almost like a clutch bag the stars are like studded in it is so fancy I have actually, oh, I almost asked for it as a Christmas present off one of my parents. I, I haven't. Um, but honestly, it, the packaging on the and the lipsticks, I am still like... I mean, maybe if it's in the sales and there's like 80 euros off it and it goes yeah. down to 100. I think it's, I I think it's 138 pounds, 128 pounds. I yeah, think but in euros, it's 180 yeah. But like mm -hmm. it's, it's, I mean, I wouldn't buy the eyeshadow or the other palette or yeah. anything like that, but I'm t honest, honestly, I mean. Yeah, it, the lipsticks are the ones out of all of them that calls to me the most. Mm -hmm. But that's, again, the weird person that is apparently putting a gun to my head and saying, choose something from the DR collection. I'm going, oh, right, the lipsticks, quickly. And they're like, Grant, your family may now live. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> they're obviously trying to do this like so refillable, so like they're saving on packaging or whatever but there really isn't that much less packaging no and how do you like the so, word extra ones yeah, yeah i do think though that's kind of where beauty does need to head is is that sustainability yeah. um so for me i'm kind of glad to see a movement in that direction mm -hmm. um just to see some some attempts towards sustainability um but yeah and in saying that then they're like here's a clutch bag and I'm like, ah. yeah. Uh, it's well, it's not it. something you throw away. I know it isn't, but it is also just sitting there. Then we have Guerlain, and uh, they have, oh, oh my god, like they have a lot of stuff. So they have like their uh, terracotta bronzer for like fifty nine dollars. They have an eyeshadow palette for eighty dollars. They have the sheer shine lipstick. There's eight shades in total. You get the shade for thirty three dollars. So you choose whatever shade, and then you choose the case. That it comes in there's 35 different cases and that's an additional 37 dollars 50. that's right the case is more expensive than the lipstick itself uh, so that's that means, like yeah. Lipstick. I just, yeah yeah so that's it oh you think that's bad right so that's that's for the sheer shine and the satin and matte lipsticks um, oh my god yeah brianna's gotten to the rouge g premium lipstick shade that my friend is 290 dollars is there gold on that is that like diamond that is the one down at the bottom that is the silver one with the kind of like honeybee type uh well no it's not honey honeybee but it's like kind of golden sort bug. of thing. It's some bug thing yeah that cost 290 dollars <laughs> 290 dollars mm. for lipstick they're crazy man they're <laughs> crazy I can't. I can't. Like, I, 
I was kind of looking at some of them and I was like, oh my God, there's a green lipstick. That's kind of cool. So I yeah, I was green. thinking the same thing. Yeah. So I didn't I read like, the fine print. Yeah. So I was like looking at some of the shades and I was like, oh, because it was like a really cool teal color. And I was like, oh, I liked it. And then I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is very expensive. I just slowly backed away. I was like, I'm not able for this. I'm just, I'm just not. There's some interesting shades, but I'm not willing to spend more on the packaging than on the lipstick itself. Call me old fashioned. By the way, is that a mirror? That lipstick, it's like shifted slightly. It's like, what does that pop open to be a mirror? Possibly. It should want to also be like a car or something for $250. <laughs> <laughs> It um, must. It has to apply perfectly every time on its yeah, own. Yeah, that you don't. You don't even have to pick it up. You just have to think about it, and then suddenly the shade is on your lips, and it makes your lips look poutier and fuller and plumper, like you've Angelina Jolie lips. You know, yeah, it's very weird. And then we go on from that to Shantikai. Oh, sweet merciful Zeus! Right, they have a Radiance Firming Essentials Gold, which is limited edition for four hundred and twenty-five dollars. What's wrong with people? <laughs> if only we had this lifestyle that we could just spend $400. There's, there's somebody who is buying this. Like, this nuts. Like, no company would go out and make these things unless somebody is going off and buying them. Maybe a Kardashian or... <laughs> I mean, like, the cheapest thing that they have is their Celestial Nail Shear, and they're three shades, and they're $28 each. Right, get yourself down to the They yeah. do amazing toppers and lovely like nail varnish right that's what you need you don't need any of this yeah nonsense yeah they nonsense. have their uh john daria by Shantikai rose de my harvest set which is a limited edition for 348 dollars and a brush set for 185 dollars nope uh, yeah thanks. anyways it, that, that's their if you care benefit um they're not really releasing anything necessarily new but they are kind of bunching up a lot of their existing stuff into like trios into advent calendars into you know their uh, gender theme. boxes yeah like i don't think it's necessarily a, a bad idea that's probably the best way to get benefit stuff is to mm. chunk it all together the value of these is excellent yeah. and the pins that they come in is very reusable like you could definitely put like eyeshadow brushes yeah. in it eyeshadow brushes just make it brushes in general it's and fun of mine. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're actually, it's actually like good, good quality and the saving on it, particularly the brow one that has like all the brow stuff in it mm -hmm. is a really good value. Like, yeah. 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 I, I tend to wait until this time of year to buy benefit because it's usually mm -hmm. the best time to get it because you get a load of stuff. But in saying that I already have like all of the stuff that I want. So yeah, nothing there for me, but yeah, if anyone has been looking at benefit, now is the time to get it. This, of course, I'm wildly interested in. This is KKW Beauty. <laughs> and if you don't get that that was sarcasm, oh my <laughs> lord. You know what I find really annoying, right? They have this uh, complete uh, collection for $190, right? Or you can get the complete uh, edition signed for $295. They, that's, that's, that's the difference? Yeah, $105. No, no, that's, that's it's signed. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, I'll just say it for all four of us. No. Yeah. <laughs> just Absolutely not. No. Winky looks have quite a few different bits and pieces. Um, they have like li little lip balms, little lip kits. They're actually not wildly expensive. Like their most expensive thing is thirty-eight euro ninety-five, and that's their chic kitty box. I'm gonna say it. I love their packaging. They look so it's cute. cute. Yeah. The packaging is adorable, yeah. yeah. Super cute. But there's nothing in there that I necessarily want, like that I wouldn't like go off and buy, but that's that's their Christmas stuff. Like as part of their chic kitty thing, they have the balm that they're really known for that ha has a flower encased in the bottom of it. Um, I mean, I don't care about that sort of thing. I hate, not, no, I can't say that I hate balms, but I'm indifferent to them. I don't get spending a large amount of money on balms. I just don't get it. Yeah. I genuinely don't. I'll just buy myself a Nivea balm and be like, right, you'll sort this. 
essay 20 out. Then we have Busy Art and they have quite a few bits and pieces going on. They have their Petit Four, uh, so those little four pan palettes, which I really don't get. They have their Etendu palettes. So there's like a warm bronzy one and then there's a purpley one. And then they have some sets of lipsticks um, that you can get by themselves or you can get the lipstick along with the eyeshadow palette pictured next to them for a little bit of a bundled deal. I have like one or two Busy Art eyeshadow palettes and they're not bad, but I wouldn't say that they're the most amazing things I've ever tried. Uh, not that interested and expensive. Yeah. But yeah, if you, if you want to, there you go. KBD, Vegan Beauty, uh, they have quite a few things. They have some um, like shadow sticks they have an oh, eyeshadow they palette. are beautiful yeah they do look nice <laughs> i swatched them in because in they arrived at my boots andrew's bought me one for christmas actually they are so gorgeous that the colors look like they're basic but for example the silver has like blue glitter in it like one of the purples has like um like other undertones of glitter in it i've never felt a formula in this like in a sort of creamy like that that and you can put a little swipe on and really blend it out and like do it sheer or you could do it they're just they're so nice i want to eventually own all six of these they are expensive though yeah 22 dollars each i'm going pounds, to yeah. i'm going to have a little look and hope and pray that they might go down in the sale um i would say potentially if you're on boot, um if you look on boots tonight before midnight i think there's still a discount on them Ooh. stop it i can't afford to buy things right now god damn you <laughs> I love KVD. Like I have that their legendary icon set. Um, and I mentioned it in my recent video on the holiday gift sets. Um, so I'm actually wearing one of the Everlasting Liquid Lips today. Love those. The mascara, I've been dying to try it because she's um back when it was Kat Von D, she had a mascara, it wasn't vegan. It took her like a year and a half to bring out another mascara because that mascara was amazing. So that's a vegan mascara and it's on real. Um and the liner, well, everybody knows it's like a yeah. go-to mm. eyeliner. Yeah, I've got to say, like in terms of value-wise and comparing them price-wise to other yeah. premium brands, because I'm in that position where I can really like see it in front of me. Um, they're actually really excellent value. We then have Marc Jacobs. If you like any of this, quite a, quite a bit of it is currently on sale. I know that over in the states, Sephora has a bit of a sale on uh, Marc Jacobs stuff at the moment, and um, they have the cherry collection as part of their Christmas stuff. So there's like the eyeshadow palette. There's like some like bronzer sort of things it's you know general Marc Jacobs stuff ranging in price from I think the cheapest thing is like $25 up to like what $75 or something like that so meh it is what it is I don't really care but there you go uh for the bougie amongst us Nabla have um well three specific things for the holidays they have their side by side nude palette for 39 euro 50 they have their ruby lights glitter palette for 24 euro it is however sold out at the moment and they have some uh lip liners in six different shades which are nine euro 90 each which is very affordable for a lip liner I want very everything yeah the first three are the same yeah. yeah they do they do that's because i was looking at them and i was like how do i differentiate them the last mm. three yes they look different but the first three could not tell the difference um i am such a nabla fan yeah like i am a nabla super fan and um, the, the the palette that they came out with last year around this time is is absolutely um, beautiful it's like the dreamy to the mystic palettes or something like that and um, it's absolutely fantastic and um, if ever i'm big enough to receive pr the one brand that i would love to get pr from is nabla just i've never been disappointed by them ever i'll take pr from anyone <laughs> <laughs> i don't discriminate if i could only ever pick one it would be nabla for me i don't want to pick one i want them all i'm just greedy like that Estee Lauder have a chunk of stuff again a lot of what they've done is just taking the stuff that they already have and repackaging it or putting it together however there is the Met uh, 150 collection collectible powder compact for $300 <laughs> oh my gosh and it's so ugly 
Yeah, people yeah. will buy this and the year of the ox um, powder compact as well. Um, Which is $200. Um, Estee Lauder is super popular in that, like, in the part of the world where they celebrate, like, um, the, you know, in, in China, it's super yeah. popular. They, it, they will buy it. It will get bought. It, it will get bought. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it absolutely will. Uh, not by me. But yeah, there's quite a few bits and pieces there. So there you go. We then have uh, Lorac. Uh, so that's, there's La Rock, which is like the, the cheaper one. And then Lorac, which is the way that I remember it is apparently the woman who founded it is called Carol. So it's just her name backwards. Oh, yeah. There you go. They have essentially the same palette over and Thank over. you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, um, I mean... <laughs> no yeah so you can go for the 45 dollar one the 30 the 235 dollar ones or the 215 dollar ones they are so boring like i've seen morphe do this before i would literally say they remind me of um like morphe like five six seven years ago even yeah um yeah i mean i'm so interested in that that i've already scrolled to the next picture. yeah there we go <laughs> and speaking of the next uh we have becca I swear to God, right, when I was going through this, most of the packages that they have include champagne pop. That's right. They just, I don't own it. Yeah, but that's the thing they're best known for. It's like with NARS and then just going orgasm, orgasm, orgasm. Becca are like, quickly, we must release a session. Make sure that it has champagne pop in it. And I'm like, oh my God. Yes, it is the thing that you're best known for. But if it's the thing that you're best known for, people probably already have it. That couple. Mm. So I'm like, is that necessarily the best idea? And it's put into a lot of their bundles to the point that like, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for some people to buy these bundles because it already has something that they'd have. Is this a brand I've never been interested in, even though they are taking my name in vain? Um, I've <laughs> never been interested in them. No, I mean, they're not. Yeah, fair. Nothing, nothing wildly interesting there. Then we have Zoeva. And essentially what they have are... Uh, a lot of brushes which are really expensive and they have a six pan eyeshadow palette and then they have these um they call them cocottes c-o-c-o-t-t-e i feel i'm gonna get demonetized okay coquette no it's c-o-c-o-t-t-e because i thought it was coquette like oh being coquettish mm. um but no it's c-o-c-o-t-t-e i don't want to spell it again and um, what, not... what is it what are they is it a highlighter is it a blush yeah, there's a highlight, like they're meant to be highlighters, but they've also just kind of gone skin radiance finishing thing, but they're uh, big and what it is, and then like a glass and then a brush. I mean, the colour of those brushes is absolutely beautiful. It's yeah. so my aesthetic. It's literally my wedding theme, yeah. like of the rose gold with the with the burgundy. Like, I actually love it. Yeah. Um, but I don't need all of those. Like I would have actually liked to see them like separated into smaller bundles. Yeah. And then potentially I would have bought a small, um, I need, a, I need some face brushes actually. I'd have probably bought a smaller bundle of face brushes yeah. from them. Yeah. yeah. I could say their brushes are amazing. Like, but yeah, I know those sets. Like how much is that brush set? Don't, it's on sale for $160. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Pricey. So, I suppose if you want to treat yourself mm. there you go Stila are just doing the same things again uh, they're taking their existing stuff and dicking them onto ornaments you know like hang them from your tree they have a four pan eyeshadow palette which is three shimmers and one matte oh one of those is matte yeah yeah I just what is Stila doing are they going to do anything new uh, I think they just love their glittering glows and they just keep selling and selling and selling them, but they are amazing. They're fan they are nice, they're fantastic. I've got two, I've got like the green, actually one of them dried out throughout recently, and they are great, but now that everyone's doing their own version of these things, I'm now like eh, Lois fine. is better. It is. I've swatched mm. the two together and it's better. Wow. And it's a third of the price. Yeah. I'm just not that bothered. Mm. They're becoming That's redundant. Like, they just are. And of course, they've done the thing of kind of going, oh, look, we've put our shade Kitten into things. And don't get me wrong, Kitten is a fabulous shade. I actually have it here. It's like as a, an eyeshadow single. But what I will say is I like to use it as a highlight. It's yeah. spectacular as a highlight. I would buy it just as a highlight. 
just a little, little, little tip there. But yeah, not, none of it is wildly interesting. Like it is what it is. We then have Sigma. They have quite a few bits and pieces. They have their 12 days of Sigma advent calendar. They have their rendezvous set and they have like a, a vault of their four eyeshadow palettes. Um, that is worth $196, but you can get it for $98. And they also have their deluxe lip set, which is worth $320 down to $160. So. Uh, I actually, like, I mean, I don't, I can't afford it, but would be interested in all four of those eyeshadow palettes. Um, I think that's actually, I don't own any of those. I think that's actually really, like, not a bad way of doing it. And for four, like, high-end, good quality, like, I've heard good things about these. Like, I would love the Corderosa out of all of them. Yeah, I've heard, um, I want the Corderosa and I want the... Oh, what, what, what one is it called? It's like the fairy tale or something. It's the one with the, the purple and green. Mystic or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that one. Don't care about the other two. Mm. Don't care about the other two. But I want those two. I like that deep toned, like neutral one with a bit of red in it. That's a lovely palette. But I suppose I think Sigma are more known for their brushes and their yeah. palettes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, although they've kind of been coming out with some more stuff recently in terms of makeup, and apparently are they are meant to be very good quality. So fair play to them, is what I say. <laughs> yeah, Brianna's like, no, I'm stifling a yawn. Oh my god, this is Scott Barnes. Go home, Scott. Go home. There's the vault. He claims it's worth fourteen hundred dollars. It has ten five pan eyeshadow palettes, three lip liners, ten mini lip glosses, three duo palettes, three mini pave powders. $750. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I would never spend that money on it, but if I, if the quality is excellent, I could see why a pro makeup artist would get this. Because it's definitely, it's not for a single user. Um, I am very confused. Why is there only three lip pencils? Yeah, to go with 10 lip glosses. Yeah, very odd. And then the powders are totally different shades. Again, this is obviously not, I'm very confused about Scott Barnes brand. Like, is it for makeup artists or is it for the average makeup consumer? Mm. Which one is it? Because it's really confusing. Grant, if he does a thing of like, you know, like how Mac have like for the general consumer and then they have the Mac Pro for makeup artists, fine. That would totally 100% make sense. But he's putting this out as being like for the average makeup user. And I'm like, it isn't though. No, it's not. I'm, yeah, I just find it really confusing. And then... They had other things as well, like the Body Bling Trio, um, travel brushes, uh, their mini glosses for $45, which wasn't bad because you get five mini glosses for $45, which I think, though, if you're getting five glosses for $45, they probably shouldn't be mini. No. <laughs> you know, just, just saying. Uh, and then a pro, the Pro palette for $32. And that's right. There is no eyeshadow in it. It is just an empty palette. For $32? Hmm. Mm. And weirdly, a snow globe for fifty-two dollars. I'm getting the snow globe. <laughs> I like snow globe, to be fair, out of all of them, I'm like, I would actually just sit there and just shake it for hours because that's the sort of person that I am. I just be like, ah, yes, this is soothing. But uh, for fifty-two dollars? No, no. Does anyone want to get it for me? <laughs> fair. fair. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Another thing I don't get is NARS. NARS. Same thing again, isn't it? NARS should just rename themselves uh, the orgasm. Because if you look at most of these things, um, like they, they have just orgasm in most of them. Uh, like they, they even have an orgasm blush jumbo and they put in Laguna as well because they're really well known for their Laguna bronzer. It's, it's so bizarre and they have an advent calendar, uh, which is apparently worth $316, but it's being sold for $250, which doesn't seem like a massive, massive saving all things considered. And again, just, just more orgasm, just, Absolutely everywhere. Or climax. Um, or afterglow. Or yeah, I'm gonna side swipe on sidestep um the many many things I could uh, jump on about what Teresa's just said. Um, I've been trying out a lot of Nars recently, and I've been really enjoying it. I wouldn't buy any of these because I like to buy my like specific stuff, and they do have some great unique products. So I don't understand why everything has to be from the orgasm range. Like okay is within reach i bought like this lovely orange blush it's taj mahal and i've been using it nearly every day i love it so much like this is interesting um and like 
a cool color that is not on the market really anywhere else and i think that if they maybe started to incorporate things and maybe allow people to have more choice but if somebody bought me any any of these as a present i'd be happy yeah that's the thing like i would get a great use out of them i'd be so chuffed yeah i think it's almost like they're afraid to go outside of their comfort zone mm. if they're like we've gotten reinforced for the orgasm thing which you know you should. you should you should get reinforced for orgasms but like i just i i don't get like do something new is mm. it yeah i just think they're afraid to go beyond the stuff that they know they've been successful for it's like but you can't just keep flogging a dead horse it's just yeah anyway that's nars there you go um i decided to include this because i know a lot of people were excited about this uh it came back in stock and swiftly sold out this is kylie cosmetics and the grinch collection i know i know a lot of people were excited about this what i will say though is um a lot of people were looking at the eyeshadow palette and going oh my god it's amazing i would say the bh cosmetics avocado palette looks quite similar if not more interesting and is cheaper it's a great palette as well it's yeah. great i think this is probably the most interesting thing that kylie cosmetics has come out with in a long time that's why everyone's like oh wow great that's cool and i can totally relate to the grinch like i get it like i'm not a christmas person really and um, so i i understand the packaging is cute but like nah man yeah and uh again you know you can get the whole bundle or you could get the whole bundle for 265 dollars or mm. you could get it signed for 365 dollars that's how how highly she values herself wow you could get more signatures at comic-con for cheaper yeah yeah, uh, I just think until they have a European retailer, it, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to buy anything. No, it's not very interesting. It's kind of interesting she has a new concept with the Grinch, but, you know, it's just, but Kylie is a, a natural girl, like a neutral tone girl, so yeah. you're just going to expect that stuff from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is what it is, essentially. Lime Crime have some stuff out. They haven't done as much this year as they would most years. I think a lot of companies have been pairing it back in terms of their holiday collection. Uh, but they have, like, uh, an eyeshadow, like, well, two eyeshadow palettes, one bigger eyeshadow palette and one smaller eyeshadow palette. And they have some, like, lip glosses and lip kits and some hair dyes. That's, that was their holiday collection. Very odd. <laughs> yeah, I want the bangers palette, the greatest hits bangers. And I know that someone was selling it and I just couldn't afford it at the time. So, um, but I don't, I do want it and I'm like side eyeing it to maybe buy it if it goes on sale again. Or something I, like I may, I may have bought the big palette. Yeah, I want the big one quite bad, yeah. yeah. It's really up my street. You have to play with it. I yeah, love. well, but like, I'm like very interested in that. Yeah. yeah same uh so i got it it was like when there was a lime crime sale i was like and here and here and here and i put a load of stuff into my basket and just totally freaked out uh i shouldn't be allowed to have a debit card no, <laughs> yeah just shouldn't be allowed and then laura mercier has quite a few bits and pieces again they're doing the general thing of bundling in the stuff that they already have but there's some newish stuff as well including like some um, eyeshadow palettes, some cheek palettes, etc. I think it's really funny when they're saying that something is worth X amount. Like say for instance, they have their Rose Pirouette Illuminator and it says it's worth $100. And then it was originally priced at $45, but it's now currently at $29. Are you sure it was worth $100? Mm. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's just things like that really bug me because I'm like, you are making so much money off us. Like, no company is making a loss on these things. Yeah. That's They're not selling them at a loss, even when on sale. Yeah. Like, I remember Lois said it on her, when she was on Releases and Rants. You know, it, they, so that just shows the level of a market that yeah, companies absolutely. have. Absolutely. I do like Mercier. Like, they do my favourite foundation and my favourite setting powder and stuff like that. But, yeah. Yeah, no, like I do, I like their setting powder, but I just, uh, that sort of thing just really bugs me. <laughs> like it genuinely bugs me. I just feel like, you know, when they're saying it's worth X amount and I'm like, but it isn't though. 
Like they've said, they have their full canvas eye and cheek essentials. They say it's worth $303. They're, they were selling it for $120 and now it's $84. Mm. That is not worth $303. It just, it isn't. Like, no. Yeah, I, that bugs me. Tell you what, this, this is worth $500, but I'll sell it to you for five. Actually, I'm not selling it to you. <laughs> but like, you know, are we just arbitrarily just giving things values? Like I get, I get that that's technically how consumerism and capitalism works, but it's just, it bugs me uh, and I need to move on. We're on to the very last thing. This is Glow Recipe. So we were talking in our previous episode about um, affordable skincare. This is the bougie skincare that I would like to receive because I'm really fancy. Uh, I may have gotten some little bits and pieces from my mom along the way of just like, here, here's some glow recipe. And um, like there's the big vault thing, which is worth $457 and it's $310. Like I would ideally love that, but I don't mm -hmm. have that money lying around or do I? No, I don't. Um, but I think what is good is they have things like uh, the Fruit Babies, which is a five piece kit. It's worth $38. It was $25 and it's down to $21. Yes, it's interesting. I think that's smart. Like, I would so get that as a little gift for somebody. Like, would you not just love getting something like that on Christmas Day and just kind of go, oh. Yeah, I want that break. I want to try the breakout and the pore tightening is like right at my street. Um, I mean, I've got some Ole Hendrickson to try, so it wouldn't be now, but yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's a really quite smart. Um, and there's it, it, decent deals. Like, they are expensive. They are, like... Mm. I what I've tried glow recipe I've really enjoyed so I kind of wish I'd never tried them oh no because <laughs> I'm like damn you you've started me on this path and now I can't get off this merry-go-round but um yeah I think there's some re really I think particularly the fruit babies thing is a really lovely little gift for somebody like a really nice little stocking feather like they're tiny they're really small little samples but again, like because skincare is so individual, you're better off getting something that's a small size rather than a big size. Because what if you've got a big size and then it doesn't agree with them on the off chance? Yeah. At least if mm -hmm. it's a small one, you're better off. So I think out of all of them, I think the Fruit Babies one is the smartest of all of their little holiday collections. I would try it. If I saw it on Cult Beauty for like eight. 18 pounds or something I would get it like 20 quid I'll get it yeah they do actually have a few of those little sets on cult beauty as well yeah I might take a look I think it's I mean I'm still using my tatcha from um and stuff like that so I have a bougie I have some bougie stuff at the moment but um yeah I would try it yeah I to break them into like the like anti-redness and um, anti breakout so that you do like have a targeted thing rather than just like four different moisturizers or four different yeah tumors. I'm so glad that they've split them up yeah I think <laughs> yeah so I think they did it well so like I just wish I could afford them so I know <laughs> I just need like a sugar person so mm -hmm. I would I at the moment have so much makeup that if I'm like gonna be like really investing like I'm happy to spend 30 pounds on a moisturizer like I'm happy to spend 20 quid to cleanse my skin I, I have pretty shocking skin um at the moment um in in general to be fair so I'm glad to really spend that money to I'm uh, to be fair I'm using CeraVe at the moment but like I'm happy to you know to spend the money if it's gonna work yeah. yeah, I like I, I like spending a bit on skincare myself because I, ha I have points where my skin kind of goes not today and just go bleh like it's a mess at the moment like it's an absolute mess but it would be so much worse if I didn't have good skincare yeah. anyways that's it we've P-I-S-S-E-D around enough uh, you now know all of the holiday releases we're done and I will try and do this earlier next year if I'm still alive. I don't know. I could be dead. Death does come to us all after all. Um, go follow these lovely ladies. If you don't, look, you know, I will threaten you with violence. I know it's not very Christmassy, but <laughs> my heart is Christmassy and there's a certain amount of violence in that. So there we go. That works. <laughs> I love Die Hard, you know, just yippee ki -yay. Um, 
But that's it. Uh, do please like, comment and subscribe. Do please share because sharing is caring unless, of course, it's an STD or a Brazil nut. You know? <laughs> and uh, only these ladies know uh, what that's about. Plus the Patreons. Please enjoy my Patreons. Great. We don't do much. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a thing. Uh, and follow these ladies. I've said it before, but I will say it again. Well, that's it. We're done. I want to go and nap now. And by nap, I mean sleep for 10 hours. <laughs> I need to sleep and I need, need to eat some dinner and go to sleep. I've got food. work early yeah. in the morning. Yeah, I do too. So we're all yeah. going to go now. Uh, bye. Leave. Bye. Step off. <laughs>